I hope that you guys are ready. Here we go. So today we are going to be learning um, or using Scratch to create the life cycle of a butterfly. Um, you will be using this as an example to create your own um, life cycle of a bee. So here we go. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is um, I do not want the sprite. So I'm going to go ahead and um, exit out or throw it away. I want to upload a picture of my own um, butterfly. So let's go ahead and go look for it. And now the best thing you could have done is um, upload all your pictures prior to starting your project. Okay. So here I have all my pictures that I'm planning on using. I um, have several different ones of the same stage because I wanted options. So here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upload my sprite. Now my sprite is going to be huge. And so I'm going to have to modify it. In order to do that, first of all, I want to make sure that my butterfly is way smaller than that. So I'm going to go to um, the size. And I'm going to put 50 just to see what happens. Okay, And it is smaller, but I think I want it even smaller than that. So I'm going to go to 25. And I think that's perfect size, but I don't want it to look like a square like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to costumes and I'm going to use the eraser and I'm going to erase all around um, the area or I'm going to erase the area that I don't want. Okay, so here we go. So erase, erase, erase. And again, you can grab whatever, not grab, but upload whatever picture you like from the internet. Okay, now if you notice, there's some white stuff here. If I don't get rid of that, it's going to show up. So I want to make sure that I get rid of it. Here, I'm going to go and erase all around. I try to have a steady finger, but as you can see, I'm not very being very successful. But again, all we can do is try our best. So again, I'm coming around. Oops, hopefully, I think... I can undo that little part there. Oh, but I, okay. So, um, oh, what happened? Oh, I need the eraser, please. And I'm going to continue, go around, around. I have to start all over again. I didn't want to um, get rid of so much part of the body body of a butterfly so i went back and i press the undo button there all right so there you go here i have it and you can see my butterfly looks pretty okay so i'm gonna go ahead and now i'm going back to coding and um now i'm ready to add my backdrop and i'm going to start with the backup that one of the selections that we have here the options so i'm going to select the blue sky and i think i'm ready now i want to place my butterfly in a certain position so um i think i would like to put it right there that's a pretty that's a a good spot it's not too high it's not too low it's a perfect spot so now we are ready to start so i'm going to go to events and grab my block with the green flag that says when we green flag click well what i want it to do all the time is to always start at the same spot so i'm going to go ahead and add this here but before we go up to that i actually want to make sure that i also start with the blue sky so i'm going to go ahead and um go to looks and I'm going to look for switch um, switch backdrop to blue sky. Okay. So I'm going to put blue sky here. And then I'm going to add where I want to start every time I hit that green flag. Okay. Once I have that, then I can, I'm ready to say something. Like, hey, what's going on? So we can say, hey, hello. And let's go ahead and have our butterfly say, are you ready to learn about my life cycle? 
okay and I'm going to add one more second and um, let's go ahead and hit play and see what happens there you go hello are you ready to learn about my life my life cycle well now I'm going to go back to events and um, actually control let's go to control and I'm going to pick our second block here that says repeat 10 but instead of 10 I want just five and now I want my butterfly to have some motion to work around our screen. So let's go ahead and add in between this bracket block. Let's go ahead and write glide one second to random positions. And as is um, gliding around our screen, what about if we have our butterfly turn? Okay. So let's go ahead and try that. We're going to go and click our green flag here. Hello, are you ready to learn about my life cycle? And here we have it clicking and um, not clicking, but turning in 50 degree angles. Okay, so now we can move on. The next thing we want our butterfly to say. So we're going to go back to looks and we're going to grab this block. But this time we're going to place it underneath that orange block there. And instead of saying hello, we want our butterfly to say the first. Oops. The first stage of a butterfly is an egg. Okay, again, I think I'm going to add one more second there. Okay. And um, once that happens, I want my screen to change. So we're going to go to backdrops and upload the first stage of a butterfly which it's an egg so let's go ahead and pick um let's pick this one here here's now i want everything to be green so i'm gonna go ahead and um let's go ahead and go to green here maybe a little bit more there and um maybe not as green as the leaf maybe a little bit brighter okay now that i chose my color i'm going to get the bucket there and i want that there there it is it looks better and now we can go back to green and click on butterfly so now that we have the screen the back drop that changed we can move on okay um so let's go ahead and check out what we have so far yay our butterfly is turning and if we think our butterfly is too big we can always um change its side okay and um yeah let's change our backdrop so the only thing we forgot to do is do you guys remember we forgot to change the name okay we don't want numbers let's go ahead and change that to first stage there it is first stage now we can go back to coding but we want to code the butterfly not our stage our backdrop so we're going to go ahead and there it is and let's try it again okay so here's our butterfly turning and the first stage of a butterfly is an egg and there it is yay so let's go ahead and move on so we're going to get an we're going to go back to control and grab another repeat but again this time we do not want 10 we just want five and we're going to do the same thing. We are going to glide. So go back to motion. We're going to glide. Put it in between the block here. Between the two brackets. And then I want to turn again. But this time I'm going to turn to the left. And I want to turn for 45 degrees. There it is. Alright. Now I also want to say something. Let's go ahead and have our friend say something. What about if she says... The second stage. Okay. 
the second stage is larva. No. Um, what about as is saying that we throw a fact in there before we actually get to that? Let's go back here. Why don't we have our friend um say something here like during the first stage because we have to throw a fact in there, right? Um we want to make sure that during the first stage you can find eggs under leaves. And there you go. Now you feel better. Now we can go ahead and move on, okay? So now after it gets here, we want um the butterfly to say something. So the second stage is larva. Oops, let me spell that. What other name do you know? Do you know me? Bye. And um, oh, more question mark. And let's go ahead and move that. And we want it for three seconds. Okay, let's go ahead and try it out. Let's go ahead and go back to our green flag here and see what we have so far. We want to make sure that we do not um, go too far and then we make mistakes and we can't figure out where we made them. All right. Are we ready to change? We're going to add our next backdrop which is our larva state and our larva state is our caterpillar okay so let's go ahead and get our cat caterpillar and i believe our caterpillar is somewhere in the bottom here oh i think i see him right there and let's see yep there he is remember we're going to change the name and um, stage two. And now we can go back to loading, clear sprite, which is a butterfly. And um, right when the second stage, what other name do you know me by? Now we can switch to backdrop. But this time we're going to go to stage two. Yay. So after we do that, we can have our friend think something. How about if we have our caterpillar thing? Um, so this, this is how I look during stage with an exclamation mark why not and this time we're going to put it for four seconds just to make sure that all of our friends can have some time to read that then we're going to write you are correct you're right actually instead of correct we can write you're correct or you're right let's go ahead and write correct I am known as a caterpillar. Perfect. Okay, so that's all we have for now. Um, we're going to go ahead and um, click on that and see. How it goes. Here's our butterfly moving around. I like that size. That's a good size. The first stage of a butterfly is an egg. During the first stage, you can find eggs under leaves, just like that example too. The second stage is larva. What other name do you know me by? Hmm. So this is how I look during stage two.